Hi and welcome, it's Machine Dana and this is another video for Streamlabs and in this video we're going to be going through the full setup and the benefits of and discussing the Stream Boss widget on your stream. Now if you didn't know, the Stream Boss widget is available for anyone that streams. Uh, all you have to do is have a Streamlabs online account. You don't need to use Streamlabs OBS to have this on your stream, although it does generally tend to integrate very well with OBS. So the Stream Boss in itself is a kind of a, a widget that you can resize and put anywhere on your screen on multiple scenes or one scene. Basically people can kind of donate, follow, give bits, they can subscribe and those things chip away at the health of the Stream Boss. And the Stream Boss can kind of rotate and change and when the life of the stream boss gets to a really low level the last person to donate uh, or, or the last person to take the last bit of life off whether that's a follow or a subscriber or a donation or whatever uh, they then become the new stream boss and there's loads of different settings around the stream boss which i'll show in this video how you can customize a lot of the Streamlabs tutorials tend to be quite short uh, not very detailed they don't really explain the benefits of it uh, or, so it's good if you want in very quick information to use your own judgments but not so much if you're actually looking to get some insight into how it how it works uh, and some of the more detailed settings if you do find this video useful i'd really appreciate if you can give it a thumbs up it certainly helps the visibility of my videos and anyone searching for the same things that you were searching for feel free to subscribe to the channel as well if you want to see more of these videos in the future i also stream nearly daily at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana you can catch me there and see any of these things in action where i've got them on my stream the stream boss widget i've had on my channel now for probably about a month or two and i will say that it's definitely increased some of the engagement on my channel not to a significant degree uh, but i think there have been a few occasions where it's incentivized people to donate money uh, or subscribe or whatever to my stream. I think ultimately people are going to subscribe to your stream for you and the same for me but the timing of that might be people might do it sooner because it means they can get the stream boss. Although the stream boss in itself doesn't serve any real kind of function it's just a nice little tool that you can have. It just kind of sits there. You can actually have it so that it doesn't sit there all the time so it's not even that invasive. It just appears when it's had some life taken off it. There are a couple of my viewers that have made comments about the stream boss that they specifically donated or kind of given bits at a certain time to get the stream boss. And then there are other viewers that have accidentally become the stream boss and they've just really enjoyed the fact that they've become the stream boss. So it's just a nice little thing for them. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, first thing you're gonna to need to do is visit streamlabs.com. There's a section uh, along the left-hand side called All Widgets. They sometimes change the layout, so if you can't find it here, just do a search for widgets in the search bar. It is a web-based browser source, which is a widget, which you can then basically paste the URL for and add it as a browser source on your on your stream. I'll be showing in this video how you add it to Streamlabs OBS, but it's a similar method if you're adding it to stream elements or uh, OBS or whatever. Under widgets, you've got a number of different widgets that are here. I've done some videos on media share and a few other things. So please feel free to check out the other videos. Media share in particular is quite a kind of quite a complicated one. So uh, but quite a rewarding one if you can get it working very well on your channel. So here you want to be going into stream boss. Within the stream boss, first of all, the widget URL here, this is the widget URL that you will copy and then paste into the source, the browser source, when you add it as a source on your Streamlabs uh, or on your streaming software. We'll come back to that in a second. We've got uh, we've got some settings. You can reset the Stream Boss if you're looking to tinker with an existing Stream Boss that you've got. You can run certain tests here. So just to show you what this actually looks like on stream. So I, what I've actually done here is uh, I've, I've actually added a Stream Boss piece of text there. And this is a custom command that I've created just to give people more information about Stream Boss. But other than that, you've just got, as you see, a replication of this there. On my Stream Deck, I've just set that so that I can remove that whenever I need to. Just to quickly show you, if I do do a uh, test bits here. You see what the graphic looks like when you. Uh, that's me testing 500 bits on my own channel. You saw a graphic there that um, made the live go down. We'll just test a. Um, I don't know a test follow. You see the graphic of the icon moving uh, and the live just drops a little bit. 
And this here is my alert box. <laughs> there is a little quick comment here that says use the URL below in OBS Studio's X Split Browser Source or just launch it uh, and use Windows Capture. There are different ways that you can add this, but the best way is to add it as a browser source to the streaming software. You've got to be careful not to show this widget URL to anyone else because they will then be able to use that um, as part of their, their stream. Then we get into the settings here. So the first setting that you've got here is damage from boss heals. What this is, when you enable this setting, any damage from the current stream boss actually heals it rather than taking damage off. It just means that if the stream boss wants to stay there for longer, he's able to do things that can enable him to do that. It also incentivizes further uh, bits, donations, and, and things like that. So that's, that's quite an important setting, but it's also important that that's communicated to anyone when they ask, um, because it's not so obvious what that actually is. There's no question mark here that shows me a tooltip and tells me what that is. And actually the Streamlabs tutorial themselves, don't they don't even cover that setting very well. We can set the damage per follower, uh, the damage per bit, uh, the damage per subscriber, and the damage per uh, dollar donation. Again, you can add these as information to uh, the custom command that you can create. So you can just tell people what the stream boss uh, damage actually does when they when people ask about that. This is all completely personal preference. The fade time's an interesting setting. The fade time, if you set it to zero, the stream boss will always appear on screen. Whereas if you set it to a certain value, it will appear on stream for that amount of time. So it can go up to a maximum of 20 seconds, so the stream boss can appear for 20 seconds. If you leave it at zero, it'll be there all of the time. You can then set themes here, and I'll just quickly run through what the different themes are. There's future, no image at all, which is just a straightforward, simple one. Uh, slim, which is this one, which is kind of cool. Uh, curved. And then you can say whether you want it to uh, bounce, which is the shaking of the uh, the animation when it kills uh, a flash a pulse it doesn't actually show the example here it's quite frustrating that it doesn't i'm gonna put it as bounce transparent background just says well do i want this to be transparent or not the gray here does not appear as you can see here on my screen to the left the gray doesn't actually appear and then you can literally set all the different colors so the text color here uh, the health bar color, uh, the health bar background color and all the rest of it. So you can set all these options. By default, the font is not that great. Um, so you can use, you can select a font that's more in line with your stream. And you can see here, there's a lot of options for fonts. Really help you customize the stream boss specifically to your stream. You can enable custom HTML and CSS using this button here. And this just allows you to add CSS, JavaScript, or HTML. Most people probably won't do this, but the option is there. So any designers out there, or you want to pay a designer, you're able to do that. The option is there. So I've got this turned off because I'm by no means an expert and I've not paid anyone to do that for me. Once you've saved the settings, you then you can then copy the widget URL. The next thing we need to do is add it to our streaming software. So I'll show you how to do that on Streamlabs OBS. Now using it as a browser source in the software, um, it's not limited to Streamlabs OBS. You can add a browser source like this on uh, OBS, on XSplit, on Stream Elements, all the other softwares, and you simply set it as a browser source, add the source, add it as a new source. You can name the source Stream Boss. You can add that as a source. It will default the URL for your software's kind of placeholder image. Don't worry too much about that. Within the URL section, you want to paste in the URL that we, we copied earlier, making sure to not give that URL to anyone because the token that's there is sensitive information that links to your account. You can set some other changes here, uh, but it's not quite as flexible as adding it as a widget, which I'll show in a second. And that's just because it's a browser source and not adding it as a widget, which I'll explain. So once, once I'm happy with the custom frame rates, the controlling audios, do I want it set as a, a local file? I can resize it here. For instance, set it to a thousand width, thousand, not a hundred, it just resizes it and so on. And I can see that that's now appeared here as a browser source. I can resize that as normal, uh, as a normal source and place it wherever I want to place it. This stream boss here is the one that I've placed. I've put it in a folder with this piece of text, which is exclamation point stream boss, where I'm able to show essentially a little bit more information when someone types a command. So that's one way of adding it as a browser source. But if you're on Streamlabs OBS, the best and quickest and easiest and most flexible way of doing this is to click add. And instead of 
adding a browser source, you want to add it as a Stream Boss widget. And that's because the widgets are natively pulled into via like an API into the application software. So the online widgets become available through the cloud, uh, pulled in through the software. So we add this now as a, a Stream Boss S2. Now the extra flexibility that you get here, because we're using both Streamlabs Online and Streamlabs OBS, the desktop software, is that we can actually reconfigure or tweak the settings that we've already looked at online. To this end, you don't even need to go online and do all of those settings if you don't want to, if you're using Streamlabs OBS. You can test the widget, which we'll, we'll demonstrate in a second. Use custom frame rates and resize it, as I just showed earlier. So this gives a summary and you can reset it. You can manage the battle and set the elements that do the damage to the stream boss here. You can have a fade timer and all the rest of it. All the same settings that we just looked at earlier on. If we're happy with those settings, we'll put, click OK on that. And this has now been added as a widget uh, rather than a browser source but it's essentially the same thing finally i'm just going to go into some of the animations that we couldn't see earlier on uh, so if i'm just going to right click this source click on properties this is the widget source that i'm editing here i'm going to look at the visual settings and i just want to look at the, the kill animation at the moment to test it we can go a follow it'll be a because i've got my alert box on there's a test follow as well you we would have seen an animation there Let's do a bits donation and change the animation to a rotate in. As you can see there, the when the stream boss died, it rotated and flipped in uh, as the animation. There's lots of different options there. I might want to demonstrate all these because there's a lot of them, uh, but you can play around with the ones that you like the look of. You can also add a command, which is a more manual way of doing the same thing. You add a command and then someone can type exclamation point stream boss. And that will then give them information about the stream boss. Uh, so for, for instance, the damage values that it adds and information about the boss actually being able to reheal himself. That's one thing. Another thing you can actually do is you may want to do something a little bit more quirky in line with the stream boss. For instance, you may want to incentivize people uh, to at the end of the month become the stream boss and then the end of month stream boss is then the person that uh, maybe wins a prize or is entered into a prize or anyone that becomes a stream boss throughout the month is entered into a prize draw. So there are other ways that you can utilize what's already there in a more digital fashion to then kind of enhance the experience through your own inputs and your own creativity. And I'm really interested to see how you guys use Stream Boss because uh, currently I use it, but not really in a particularly creative way. And I know there's a lot more I could do with it. So that's it, how you set up Stream Boss on your software, on your stream. Uh, this works for Twitch, it works for YouTube, and it works for Facebook Gaming as well. So it's not limited to just Twitch. It's also not limited to just Streamlabs OBS. That's really good of Streamlabs to be able to offer that function uh, to non-Streamlabs software. If you found this useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Visit me at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana and have a lovely day. Take it easy.